After watching this tutorial, you'll be able to do this Rubik's Cube as fast as this is doing it right now. All you have to do is watch this tutorial and you can do it in 8.5 seconds, 8.15 with just a little bit of practice. I hope you enjoy and you can do this. Good luck. This is how to solve the two by two Rubik's Cube. So first step is to scramble it. You can look up scrambles if you know notations, but sometimes I just like to play around with it and that's good. Okay. So first step is you probably can just solve the white however you can. So I'll just put in these pieces. So try to get two on one side and then we'll show you how you can slide in pieces to easily get them into place right now. Okay, once you have your two pieces on one side, you're gonna look around your cube and see which white other pieces you can get on. So as you can see, there's one right here and look for the other one now. So in this case, we just have one right there. So we'll be sliding down this side, sliding it back in, and then putting it right back up. Okay, now once you solve white, you can move on to the next part. So after you've solved white, you want to look at the layer around white. Then you want to look for pairs. So in this case, I have one pair and it's green. Doesn't matter what color it is. So there's three cases for this, having one, one pair, which is the most common, having no pairs, or having all four pairs already. In this case, I have one pair, so you want to put that one pair in the back. If you have no pairs, repeat this algorithm twice. So you want to do right inverted, down inverted, right, left, down, left inverted, and then you want to do right inverted, down inverted, and right. Then you should have your one layer. If you only had one, if you had no pairs at the beginning, repeat this algorithm once again. And remember to put your match after you repeated it in the back. Now it's time to move on to the next step. So after you've solved white and your layer, you want to flip over the cube onto the side that will be yellow. So there are four cases for this. You can have one line, you can have a corner, you could have all of it already, or you could have none. So in this case, I have a layer. Or you could have two diagonal. Okay. So we just solved white and our layer across. Now you want to flip over the cube to the side that will be yellow. So there are five different cases, I think, for this part. So you can have one line, diagonal corners, one corner, all solved or none solved. In this case, I have two. And so if you have one corner piece, you want to put it here and if you have diagonals, choose one of them and put them here. And if you have none, just do this algorithm. And if you have it solved, if you have it solved, skip this part. So this is the algorithm you will use. If you have two. It, yes, if you have two. Put so it, put make it, sure to put it on this side. Yeah, so put your line on this side and then you want to do this algorithm. Right up, right, right inverted, up, right, up twice, and right inverted. So in this case, I have now none. And when you have none, you want to put the side that has no whites facing toward you, toward you. So, and then you will do the algorithm again. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up twice, and right inverted. Now I have one corner piece. Now you'll put the one corner piece in here, and you may not get exactly what I'm getting, but just do what I said to do with what your cases are. So I have a corner piece, so I will put it there. So once again, 
right, up, right inverted, up, right, up twice, and right inverted. Now, you should have yellow. And if you had corner pieces or whatever before, um, yeah. Keep doing this until you have it and make sure to put them into the correct positions. Yeah, corners, one piece goes here. Diagonals, choose one, put it here. If you have a line, put it on this side. And if you have it all solved, you should have skipped this. And, and if you have none, face the side with none towards you. Okay, now it's time to solve the cube. Okay, so now you are on the last part. So you just solved yellow, you have white solved too, and you have a layer across white. So for this next part, you need to solve this layer, the yellow layer. Or if you put white on top, it'll be the bottom layer. So for this part, you want to look around the white layer of the cube and find another pair. The yellow layer. Yeah. And so it's probably like over here or over here somewhere. So here's my pair. So you want to line up your pair with the layer down on white. So then you should have maybe either one solved. Yeah, you should have one side solved. Then. If you don't have a pair, then that is okay. You'll just have to do this algorithm twice. Mm -hmm. So then you want to put your pair and face it away from you. Then you're going to have to copy this algorithm. So before you do the algorithm, make sure that the color that you have solved is facing on the back. If you don't have one solved, just make sure to do this algorithm twice and put the one in the back solved. Okay, so this is the algorithm. Right inverted, face, right inverted, back twice, right, face, right, back twice, right twice, back twice, and up inverted. Now you have a solved cube. And if you had no pairs before you did this algorithm, make sure you do it once more to get a solved cube. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you learned how to do this two by two Rubik's cube. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Just make sure to rewind the video if you didn't understand something. And hope you liked it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.